Hi, this is a spiritual crystal card reading for Cancer. So let's see what is your main energy. Main energy for Cancer for the month of May. And this here, <coughs> sorry, there are two actually. So this is purpurine with uh, magnetite. So purpurine and magnetite, what is it actually saying to you? I think first of all, magnetite, like we know, it's a balance, okay? It's a yin-yang, it's a north and south. You know, it's the balancing of the two poles, okay? can be balancing of the universal energy with Mother Earth, with grounding. It is maybe balancing in the emotions. Uh, but purpurine on, on top there, what does it mean? It means like, I think like, look a little bit to so something new. I think you need to have um, lightening up a little bit because at the, at the same time, magnetite is very heavy. It's a very heavy, it's attracting. It's uh, pulling the iron, it's very heavy. So with purpurine, purpurine what is a very spiritual stone again, it is like uh, saying maybe be more light, lighten up, maybe higher, tune in a little bit on the higher uh, energies, balance better your higher energy, um, and have a look. I think what it actually means is like take take a new, a refreshing breath in your life. I don't know very well how to explain, but it comes to this point like open the windows, okay? Open the windows and allow fresh air to come in. I mean, on your spiritual level, on your conscious level, on your emotional level. So let it come in. Let, let new things come in. Because maybe it has been um, stagnation. Maybe you are in a stagnation point there. So let, let something new come. Um, let's see now what is for your first, first week. First week of uh, May for you. And this is tiger eye. <coughs> no, not tiger. This is iron tiger. Sorry. Iron tiger. Iron tiger, tiger is actually repeating a little bit what I just said with um, magnetite and with purpurine. It is like things are moving. Okay. You are actually observing the things that are moving now. And uh, it also, don't forget that... Um, um, Iron Tiger actually helps with emotional when, when there is emotional sadness when there is emotional sad when there is sadness when there is um, when you are going through a difficult time it's very good to wear actually an uh, Iron Tiger because it helps you to release and it helps you to to be to have lesser pain also helps on the body level. <coughs> Also be helpful on the body level for when there is pain. So it says so this means the first week have a look. Have a look what is going on there. Is there something for me out there instead of being closed in inside? What is it on the outside for me? First week. Brings us to the second week. Second week is shadow eyed. But shadow eyed is um actually fears okay it connects us with our deepest feelings of fear insecurity and um, it's also very spiritual at the same time so i think there it's transform transform this this um, fears into wisdom what are you fearing why are you so afraid to look outside why are you so afraid of the new to come? What is holding you back for to live fully your true potential self? This is second week, third week. Third week we have to pass, lighten up, give yourself wings, start to fly, start to enjoy, start to enjoy your life instead of being your most of us we are programming ourselves. We are all actually programming ourselves. It can be, you know, it is. It can be such a habit actually that we are not even aware about it. It's like we are drinking. You know, you, you know, 
You know how we can program water? It's, it's the most classical thing. So imagine when you are drinking your cup of tea or your cup of coffee or a glass of juice or water, whatever, and you're thinking about your problems. Imagine what you're drinking. Imagine which programmation you're giving to your body. See yourself cooking, you know, and think, oh my gosh, and oh this, and oh, what am I going to do? Imagine the food that you are eating. So start with this. Start with this. Whenever you are drinking, whenever you take your cup of tea, whenever you take your cup of coffee, it doesn't matter, your water you choose, just start to concentrate. And concentrate on love instead of problems, pain, fear, anger. So concentrate whenever you have your, your do it with consciousness. Live in the here and now. Live with your live in consciousness. Live with consciousness. So you are there and you're drinking your tea. And use opportunity at the same time that you're drinking your tea to program this liquid with positive energy, with power, with health, with love. Whatever you are need, in need at that moment. Just because this is your medicine. So you're programming it with what with power. I feel powerful today. I feel beautiful today. I'm happy. I feel full of love. Oh I'm thankful. I'm thankful for my teachings. I'm th thankful for my what I'm learning. I'm thankful for to be healthy. I'm thankful for to be alive. If this is not the, the condition, if you say, yeah, but it's very, very easy to say, I'm, I'm, I'm ill. I say, then you think, you think I'm, 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 I'm healthy. You hold your cup because only by thinking while drinking, oh my God, I feel bad, I feel this. You're just <coughs> always reactivating the whole thing. So you're just saying, I'm healthy, I'm strong. And this change, this recondition, the whole mind, the whole mindset and your whole body because we are I keep on forgetting 70 or 90 percent we rather think it's in 70 percent of water so we are programming actually what we what we actually we are programming ourself with negative thoughts if we are always in the mood like cooking or drinking and thinking on our problems so that's one start what's one start for slowly slowly to go out of there to reprogram your body and your mind and your soul everything to to re not to solve it to reprogram the mindset and then wear a topaz wear this golden topaz it works on the third chakra very much as well that means joy it elevates it's very strong to elevate and to be joyful and to lighten up you can also, if you feel really down, you can uh, make an elixir of topaz. Uh, so you can take a few drops a few times a day with topaz for to, to lighten up. So let's see what's on the fourth week. Fourth week of um, May. And this is retilated quartz. So retilated quartz is like saying to you, okay, we are in situations or we are living with people who are maybe making it difficult for us to be. But what is this? This is actually saying to us that this difficulty that we have into this situation or with this person or whatever is a little piece of us that we haven't been working at. And that's why it produces a difficulty because otherwise it wouldn't um, you wouldn't react on it. So it's very simple. By example, if um, you have a person that works really on your nerves because of uh, an attitude, well, why is it working on your nerves? Why can't you just doesn't because it it doesn't disturb other people, but it disturbs you. So it means by it makes you nervous. Maybe this attitude is connected with something from the past. A person in the past who had this same attitude and you haven't, you couldn't at that moment 
deal with it. You couldn't at that moment realize or transform this reaction that it was bringing into you or acknowledging why did it make you nervous? Why is a weak point? Because it's just a point that we have we haven't worked on. Because what I try to say here is when you have worked on the on the situation, when the other person comes again with this attitude, it just doesn't affect 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 you because it's it just just doesn't doesn't match, you know? It's it's like you have you have here this hand is open and this is the other hand and this is the attitude from the person and this is your attitude that you haven't been acknowledging and then it just make this so you both are learning from it you both want to move to learn so when you have learned your at out of this attitude you have learned why is this happening why does it make me nervous what is it in me that i can't that i can't have this then when you've learned this it just make this so when this person come it just doesn't doesn't glue to you you can just see it but at that moment you become a mirror for this person so this person actually gets the information that he needs and if he doesn't get it it will go to another person where the other person is ready for to receive and to get the information and where you both can get completely nervous with each other and learn out of it so, but when you have transformed this feeling and understood why it makes you nervous, you become like unaffected from it because you just watch it, but it doesn't do anything to you because it just doesn't come into you because you don't need to learn out of it. And the person moves on or the situation moves on to another person or into another thing for to keep on learning. If the person at the same time as you take his information and also because maybe it's a two it's a two 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 way road, you know, maybe you are getting nervous and he or she is getting nervous with the attitude from you. You know, it's it's a two way thing. So it's always this fighting and always this confusion and always this disharmony. So if the two of you can take this information at the same time, it's really wonderful because then you both don't get nervous anymore with each other. In case, if this is not the case, one of the of two of you who will get the information and will work on it will move on and the other person will find other persons who can come <clears throat> to the same point where they still can keep on learning out of it because they haven't, they didn't want to let it go because there was something deeper within that they still wanted to learn. So it's a whole thing, you know, it's, but it's very, it comes to the, it comes to the point that it's actually all the same. It's all the same. It always comes back to the point where we are asking ourselves, okay, why does it affect me? Why does it affect me? From where does it come? Where did it originate? What is it that I still haven't cleaned out? What is it that I still am carrying with from maybe childhood? You know, it's something, something maybe an attitude from the, from the parents that made you very nervous. So you couldn't deal it at that time because your mindset was not ready for to acknowledge all the things. So you carry it with you, with you, with you, with you. And still, whoever comes into your, uh, into your um, close, close circle and has the same attitude or the same thing as one of your parents, ah, there you go. That may be just a mother or a father thing, you know. You haven't released. It's releasing, releasing, letting go, observe. And that's actually will help you a lot with moving on and with elevate your whole being. It's we are always, the more things we keep on carrying with us, the more, the more heavier we are feeling, the more difficult it is for us to do new things in our life. And it's fascinating to do new things, to move on to let go of the old experiences. We are entitled to be happy, so why sitting in our misery? No? It's a mindset, it's a mindset. Start with programming your food and your drinks, for example. So, let's see what is the message of the angels for this. Message from the angels is beautiful, it's modified, it's deep transformation. So, let loose. If you have Maldivite, if you can find Maldivite, wear Maldivite. If it is too strong in the beginning, you can wear it for a few hours and then let it go and then wear it again until you are tuned in into the energy of Maldivite and you will see it's a fantastic 
transformator. It's very strong. It it's like a turbo boost. You really, when you when you wear molar white, it's like taking the express and release. So, thank you for watching. And if you would like a personal spiritual crystal card reading or a healing meditation or more information, you can contact me on my website. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.